Ash we will continue our battle after 20 minutes as I have to reconsider my team. Said Elisa. Okay. Can we make it 6 on 6? Asked Elisa. Okay. Said Ash. 20 minutes later Ash and Elisa are standing opposite to each other. This will be a 6 on 6 battle between gym leader Elisa and challenger Ash battle will be over when all Pokemon on any side are unable to is allowed to substitute Pokemon any time. Said referee. Please send your first Pokemon. Said referee. Go. Said Elisa sending her Raichu. Raichu huh. Said Ash as he started to move his hands towards his belt. All of sudden Pikachu jumped on the floor facing Raichu with his cheeks sparking with electricity. Pika pie. Said Pikachu as he looked at Ash. So you want to battle him? Said Ash to which he nodded. Okay then. Said Ash. Challenger will have the first move. Said referee. Come on you pathetic excuse of an electric type. Come and bow in front of me, said Raichu. What did you just said? You overgrown rat, I will show you what happen when you mess with me, said Pikachu. Pikachu iron tail, said Ash. Raichu stop him with your own iron tail, said Elisa. I am coming for you, said Pikachu to his rival Raichu who was ready to intercept Pikachu's iron tail with his own. Both Pikachu and Raichu jumped in the air and clashed their tails against each other before both of them repels each other on the field. Raichu use wild charge, said Elisa making Raichu covered in electricity and charged towards Pikachu. Now use double team, said Ash making multiple copies of Pikachu covered the arena. Now use quick attack, said Ash making Pikachu run towards Raichu leaving white streaks of energy behind him. Raichu stop him. Use focus blast, said Elisa as Raichu started to prepare focus blast. That's the right time. Use electro web, said Ash making Pikachu halt quick attack and jumped high in the air and launched electro web which binded Raichu just before it is about to launch focus blast. Focus blast exploded in the web dealing good amount of damage. Pikachu use agility into double team and then use double edge, said Ash making Pikachu ran towards his rival making him Elisa could react Pikachu already slammed into Raichu knocking it back into the wall. How's that you overgrown rat? asked Pikachu. I will show you, said Raichu as it walked towards Pikachu with cheeks glowing yellow. Raichu, don't show mercy use full power thunderbolt, said Elisa. Pikachu don't let him hurt you, dig your tail in the field, said Ash. Pika, said Pikachu as he dug his tail in the thunderbolt connected with Pikachu all excess electricity started to spread under the battlefield. A perfect trap, Raichu use iron tail, said Elisa as Raichu stopped charge beam and charged at Pikachu with glowing iron tail. Pikachu get out of there quick said Ash but Pikachu's tail is stuck in the field. Raichu then used its tail to grab Pikachu and slammed him on the field multiple time. Pikachu, said Ash in worry. Now use Hyper Beam, said Elisa as Raichu prepared the Hyper as increasing binding power. Pikachu use Focus Punch, said Ash but it is not working as Raichu made a good distance from Pikachu and launched Hyper Beam sending Pikachu in the air. Damn, what should I do? said Ash to himself. It's something new to me as well, said Sillin. A blue and black electricity, thought Ash as he is shocked. Okay Pikachu use full power thunderbolt, said Ash coming out of his shocked expression as Pikachu unleashed a massive thunderbolt attack that ripped apart the battlefield and strikes decided to ground the excess electricity. Take this one more time said Pikachu as he unleashed all of his electricity supply. Eventually Raichu and Pikachu gave up and fainted in the process. Pikachu and Raichu are unable to battle, this is a draw, said referee. Pikachu, are you okay? asked Ash as he ran towards his fainted picked up him in his arms. Pika, said Pikachu in low tone. Take a well-deserved rest did great job. Said Ash's Pokemon doctor available there took Pikachu for the treatment. That was an amazing battle, 
but let's see how your next Pokemon will defeat my Pokemon, said Elisa sending her Wash Rotom. A Wash Rotom, asked Ash. Gliscor go, said Ash sending his ground and flying type. A ground and flying type against an electric and water type. Too bad. This will be my win, said Elisa. Rotom use Hydro Pump, said Elisa. Gliscor dodge and use Sky Attack, said Ash. Gliscor gracefully dodged Hydro Pump and then charged at Rotom with Sky Attack. Stop with Telekinesis, said Elisa. Rotom's eyes glowed blue and Gliscor outlined in blue of the psychic energy is too much for him to handle. Gliscor come back, said Ash recalling his ground and flying type. This time I need someone, a Pokemon who can handle psychic type moves and ghost type moves as well, said Ash to himself. What if I am able to stop Rotom from levitating? That's it, said Ash as his send out Roggenrola. Battle time Roggenrola, said Ash sending his rock type. Roggenrola this is the time you are going to battle, said Ash. Rogan, said Roggenrola as it started to hop happily. Okay Rotom use Shadow Ball, said Elisa. Use Double Team to evade and use Sand Storm, said Ash. Soon after Ash's command there are multiple Roggenrola on the battle that there is sandstorm covering the gym battle field. Rotom use Rain Dance, said Elisa. As commanded Rotom summons the black clouds which started to rain making sandstorm disappear. Once D and Storm died Roggenrola is nowhere to be seen. Where is Roggenrola? asked Elisa. Now use gravity said Ash as all of sudden ground started to glow blue which made Rotom fall on the field. Rotom use, said Elisa but before Elisa could finish Ash commanded. Use flash cannon, said Ash as Roggenrola emerge from under the field near Rotom with sphere of silver energy formed in front of its eye and then released flash cannon that strikes Rotom that deals good amount of damage. Roggenrola use double team and then rock slide said Ash after which multiple rock falls from above. Rotom use thunder, said Elisa. Roggenrola dig and then stone edge, said Ash. Just before Rotom could launch devastating thunder attack Roggenrola made its way under the field. Since gravity is still in effect Rotom couldn't escape and pillars of sharp edge stone strikes Rotom knocking it out instantly. Rotom is unable to battle. Roggenrola wins, declared referee. Roggenrola return. You did great job, said Ash as he recalls his Roggenrola back. Now my next Pokemon is, said Elisa sending her Toxtricity. What's that Pokemon? asked Ash. Toxtricity, electric and poison type from Galar region, said Elisa. Galar? asked Ash. Yes this region is near Kalos region, said Elisa. Kalos region, I remember now. My friend said something about Mega Evolution, asked Ash again. Yes, this region is famous for Mega Evolution and Galar is famous for Gigantamax. I will give you info on these stuff later on. Let's finish our battle, said Elsa. Pignite battle time, said Ash sending his fire and fighting type. Pignite start with flamethrower, said Ash making Pignite release stream of flames. Dodge and use poison jab, said Elisa. Toxtricity quickly jumped in the air and avoided flamethrower before it charged at Ash's Ash's surprise Toxtricity is fast. Toxtricity strikes Pignite with poison jab but Pignite use protect on right time which saved him from damage. Now Toxtricity use thunder, said Elisa. We are not done yet. Pignite heat up the game, use overheat, said Ash. Toxtricity and Pignite launch their individual attacks. Both are putting all their efforts to overpower each other but in the end both Pokemon thrown backwards by the force generated from explosion. I must say your Pokemon are strong, but not for so long. Use Metal Sound and then use Rising Voltage, said Elisa as Toxtricity released powerful sound that made Pignite unable to then released two pillars of electricity that moved towards Pignite. Once both pillar reached towards Pignite, they collapsed into one huge pillar electrocuting Pignite. Pignite no, said Ash. Pig, said Pignite as he stood up.
Pig Knight can you battle buddy? Asked Ash. Pig. Said Pig Knight with positive nod. Toxtricity use wild charge. Said Elisa. Counter with flame charge. Said Ash. Both of them charged at each other with their element surrounding middle of the battlefield they both collided which results into explosion once again. Use gunk shot into rising voltage, said Elisa. Evade with double team and then use fire pledge, said Ash. Toxtricity launched pile of gunk at Pignite who easily evaded it by double team and then all copies disappeared. Pignite then slammed his leg on field after which columns of flames moved towards Toxtricity and Toxtricity launched rising the end both attack knocked out each other. Both Pokemon are unable to battle. This is a draw, said referee. My next Pokemon is, said Elisa sending her Luxray. Gliscor go, said Ash sending his Gliscor. Gleez, said Gliscor as he took flight in the air. Gliscor is a good choice. His flying typing will help him to gain distance and ground typing will help in enduring the electric shocks, said Sillen. Luxray start with Thunderbolt, said Elisa. Gliscor counter with Venishok, said Ash. Thunderbolt and Venishok collided resulting into explosion. Luxray use wild charge, said Elisa as Luxray encased in electricity and charged at Ash's surprise. Luxray managed to jump higher in the air. Gliscor double team and use Iron Tail, said Ash. Just before Luxray could connect with Gliscor he managed to create after images. Soon 50 copies covered the arena. Lux, said Luxray as he is confused by so many copies. All of sudden real Gliscor attacked with glowing tail on Luxray's back making it immobile for a while. Once again use Iron Tail, said Ash. Luxray dodge and use Fire Fang, said Elisa. This time Luxray showed its agility and landed a Fire Fang on Gliscor's wing. Gliscor can you battle? Asked Ash with concern on his face at which Gliscor just sticks his tongue out. Okay then let's take this one step further. Use quick attack, said Ash as Gliscor flew back in the air and used quick and used quick attack. Intercept it with wild charge, said Elisa. Luxray and Gliscor used their individual attacks as both collided in the mid-air and then pushed back by the explosion. Use sand tomb said Ash after which Gliscor created Tornado of Sand trapping Luxray inside it. Sand Tomb is reaching towards ceiling of the gym and in the process ceiling is destroyed. Luxray get out of there, said Elisa. Get inside the Sand Tomb and use Cross Poison, said Ash as Gliscor flew in the air dived into the center of the Sand Tomb with glowing claws. Luxray use Thunder said Elisa but nothing happened as she heard a painful cry from Luxray. Now Gliscor, use Hyperbeam, said Ash as Gliscor fired Hyperbeam knocking out Luxray. Luxray is unable to battle, Gliscor wins, said referee. You are strong, I must say but your winning streaks end here, said Elisa. Sending her Zebstrika, in your thoughts, said Ash sending his Torterra. Torterra vs Zebstrika let the battle begin, said Refri. Zebstrika start with flame charge, said Elisa. Counter flame charge with earthquake, said Ash. As soon as Zebstrika charged at Torterra with flame charge, Torterra raised his front legs and slammed on the field making it shaken up making Zebstrika trip on the field. Now keep it at distance with leaf storm, said released storm of leaves which dealt good amount of damage to Zebstrika. Zebstrika use flame charge once again, said Elisa. Torterra take the attack, said Ash shocking Elisa. Are you sure? asked Elisa as Zebstrika charged towards Torterra. Now use protect into Giga Drain, said Ash as Torterra created protective shield making Zebstrika bounce then launched green energy vines from stones present on his grabbed Zebstrika and started to sap energy. Zebstrika use flame charge said Elisa. Don't give it a chance. Use Leech Seed and then Stone Edge, said Ash. As commanded Torterra launched seeds that wrapped red color vines on Zebstrika and started to sap energy. Torterra then launched Stone Edge knocking out Zebstrika. No Zebstrika, 
said Elisa as she recalled her fallen Pokemon. You did amazing job Torterra. Return for now, said Ash recalling his grass type. Gym leader Elisa send your next and final Pokemon, said referee. Go my friend, said Elisa sending her Electivire. Infernape battle time, said Ash sending his fire and fighting type. Infernape versus Electivire let the battle begin, said referee. Infernape start with dig, said Ash as Infernape went underground. Electivire be ready and when Infernape surface back on the field use brick break, said Elisa. Infernape let's heat up the field use flare blitz, said Ash as all of sudden battlefield started to glow red making Electivire unable to stand anymore. Electivire earthquake now, said Elisa making Electivire jump and land on field very hard which throw Infernape out of the battlefield. Now use wild charge, said Elisa. Counter with Flare Blitz, said Ash. Both of them connected in the middle of the battlefield which leads to explosion. Electivire use Focus Blast, said Elisa. Use Blaze Kick to send it away, said Ash. Electivire launched the orb of focused energy at Infernape. Infernape used 360 rotating Blaze Kick that sent Focus Blast back at Electivire with additional flames around it. Use Protect and then use Thunder, said Elisa. Infernape before Electivire could launch Thunder, use Flare Blitz, said Ashes Infernape covered in flames and propelled itself like a jet towards Electivire. Electivire use Protect, said Elisa. Electivire created Protective Shield but couldn't hold it for long as it started to break and ultimately Infernape strikes Electivire knocking it in the wall. Electivire can you battle? asked Elisa to which it nodded. Okay then use wild charge, said Elisa. Counter with flame wheel, said Ash. Infernape and Electivire tried to overpower each other and ultimately pushed each other back. Infernape use close combat combined with fire punch and blaze kick, said Ash. Electivire use protect and then use thunder, said Elisa. Electivire summons energy dome making Infernape's attack effortless. Infernape started to loose his energy. Taking the advantage of that, Electivire lowered his shield and grabbed Infernape by tentacles present on its back and used more power behind electric attacks Electivire is dominating the fire starter. Infernape no, you can do it. Just remember the Sinnoh League battle, you are the one to defeat Electivire and you can do it now as well, said Ash. It's of no use Ash. Electivire is now have an upper hand. Electivire hold him tight and use close range hyper beam, said Elisa. Just remember your battle, you can do it, said Ash making Infernape open his eyes which are now glowing red which not only created fear in eyes of Electivire but also in eyes of Elisa too. Electivire stoked forming hyper beam. Infernape, said Infernape as flames on head started to glow brighter, and massive in size. Infernape then used his strength to break free from grip of Electivire. Now Infernape used full power overheat, said Ash which shocked Elisa to the core. No stop, said Elisa but it is of no use, overheat is already prepared as Infernape launched full power flames which engulfed Electivire. Electivire, quickly roll on the ground to douse the flames, said Elisa and Electivire did as ordered and as a result Electivire is free from flames but it is on verge of falling anytime soon. Now use Giga Impact to finish it of, said Elisa as Electivire. Infernape use Flare Blitz, said Ash. Both Pokemon connected in the middle of the battlefield with results into dual knockout. Gym leader Elisa is out of usable Pokemon, Ash Ketchum is the winner of Bolt Badge, said referee. Infernape return, you did great, said Ash recalling his Pokemon. Well I must say, you gave me a good battle. Here is a symbol of your victory. Bolt badge, said Elisa. Thanks, said Ash accepting the badge and placed it in the badge case. That was an amazing battle Elisa, but I have to check upon Pikachu and I need to. Heal my Pokemon, said Ash. Come with me said Elisa as she took Ash to the recovery room.